بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد توقع اللہ عز و جل relying solely upon Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala for all of your needs and all of your affairs. It can be challenging for us as believers in Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala in accordance with our Iman. That's an illustration of how we have different levels of Iman. That the believers are not all on the same level. And the differences are in accordance with our deeds, our various acts of uh, ibadah, of worship, whether that be outward or inward. And one of the inward types of worship or ibadah is tawakkalal Allah Azza wa Jal, is relying putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what affair in your life, what challenges you faced, face, uh, what your needs are, it's relying and putting your trust in Allah that He will rectify your condition and situation. And that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is in full control over all things. So it's putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the same time, tawakkul requires from us fi'l al asbab to make efforts in what we're trying to achieve and what we're trying to attain. For example, the person who is in need of rizq. They're in need of their wealth being increased. Making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very important and first and foremost. At the same time, it necessitates that you make effort, that you open the doors up for your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of anyone or anything, but we're in complete need of Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is the sunnah to Allah. This is the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is that usually it happens when a person is making effort. So for example, if you need wealth, then you get a job. If you need to provide for your family, then you get a job. If someone is in need of getting married, for example, a woman, then she must take the proper steps and avenues to, to, to find a good husband. Inquire in the community. Ask her father to look for someone good for her. Or whatever the situation may be, but she must take the appropriate steps. And then put her trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by doing those actions, that does not negate your tawakkal on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That does not negate your trust. And the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient. But rather you're going in accordance with the sunnah to Allah. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, provided for us as a path. And the way of those who came before us. That they made effort. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in giving da'wah to Allah. He made effort. He strove with his wealth, his life and his property. The Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum strove with the same in order to establish the religion so that we would be able to practice Islam, so that Islam would be established. They strove and they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They didn't just raise their hands and sit in, build a masjid and sit in the masjid and that was sufficient. But rather, they strove, they made effort and they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says all throughout the Qur'an, and we'll just read two ayat from the Qur'an. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem 
Wallahi falyatawakkalu in kuntum mu'minin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and put your trust in Allah if you're truly believers letting us know that relationship between tawakkul and iman that the person with a high level of iman they have a higher level of tawakkul in Allah uh, tawakkul ala Allah they can put they put stronger trust in their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because their iman leads them to do that. They know for sure with yaqeen and certainty that Allah is going to help them in their situation. They know with yaqeen and certainty that they will not be harmed because they put their trust in Allah. That it, that it was from the decree of Allah. If they were to lose their life, if they are to be harmed, it's from the decree of Allah and they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and leave their affairs with Allah in what they're trying to achieve and do. This is tawakkal ala Allah azza wa jal. This requires iman. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلِيَتَوَكُلُونَ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And upon Allah, you put your trust or put your trust. He ordered, in kuntum mu'mini, if you are believers. So if you're from Ahli Iman, if you are uh, truly from the believers, then put your trust in Allah. Allah is commanding us to do that. And that's a sign of the mu'mini. That's a sign of the believers. Is that they put their trust in Allah. When they're going through struggle, when they experience death and challenges in their families and in their properties and, and everything, they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us with tawakkul tam. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fil kitabihi al kareem That whoever puts their trust in Allah, then Allah is sufficient. Allah is sufficient. Again, letting us know that your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for you. No matter what happens to you, or who challenges you, or if the whole dunya comes together to cause you harm, لم يضرك إلا بما كتب إلا بشيء ما كتب الله تعالى عليك. That if the whole dunya, everyone in it, the mankind and jinn were to gather together to cause you harm. They couldn't do it unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written that. Unless that's his decree. And if the whole dunya came together to assist you and help you, they won't be able to assist you unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed that. So that lets us know the emr, the, 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 the qadr, the decree, it goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So then it's in him we should put our trust, our full trust. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of the mutawakkilin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our many sins and help us to come closer to Him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.